Hi, my name is Rex, and today I'll be showing you the Refresh Microdata Access Tool, or MDAT. We've left the look of the bad MDAT behind and created a more cohesive experience by adopting the look and feel of the main data at census.gov site. We're working to make the tool more intuitive by removing redundant steps to streamline the table creation process. In this tutorial, I walk you through creating a table so you can familiarize yourself with the refresh design. Let's take a look. Let's start by going to the MDAT homepage. If you typically type in the URL of the site, please note that it is slightly different now. The new URL is datadacensus.gov slash app slash MDAT. If, however, you usually use datadacensus.gov to access MDAT, you can access by navigating to data.census.gov, click on the app's shortcut, and then click on MDAT. As you can see, the landing page is very similar to the original MDAT with the selection of the dataset and vintage dropdowns. However, you'll notice something new right beneath that, the URL migration section. Users of the beta MDAT may recall that the URLs could be extremely long, so one of our goals with the Refresh MDAT was to make the URLs more manageable in length. This required changes on how the URLs are composed. We know, though, that MDAT users have saved tables that are created in a beta MDAT that they still want to access. So, to ensure that they can still open this beta MDAT tables, we added the URL migration capability that converts your old beta MDAT table URL into a shorter URL that a refresh MDAT recognizes. Just enter your save beta URL into the space below the URL migration message. Click Go, and the refresh side will display your save table. For our example, I'll use the default of the American Community Survey, or ACS, one year estimates for 2023. This is the most recent vintage available for this data set. Once the data set and vintage are selected, click on the next button. One of the ways we have streamlined the site is that you can now select your variables and geographies in the same way. For this example, let's select two variables. First, select the age variable by scrolling down the list and select an AGEP. When you do, you see a pop-up telling you that this variable is continuous and can only be added to the cell value options. You will need to create a group or recode in order to include the AGEP variable on your table. With this more noticeable pop-up, data users will be more aware of which variables are continuous when adding them to their tables. Click on the X in the top right corner of the pop-up to close it out. The other variable needed is the one for marital status. You can find this variable by using the label search bar and typing in the word marital. This pulls up the MAR variable, which you can select to add it to your data card. The Select Geographies button is directly located above the listed variables. Let's select the group of public use microdata areas or Pumas from Virginia. Click on the Puma tab. Select Virginia from the list of states, and then add the Pumas from Norfolk and Virginia Beach. These geographies are now added to the table. New with this refresh is the Select All button that allows you to quickly select the entire collection of geographies. For this example though, Let's just stick with the five individual Pumas from Virginia. Use the X in the upper right corner of the panel to close it. Now that we selected our variables and geographies, let's move to the card tab. This is where you can limit the universe of your variable or create a recode. For this example, let's create a recode with the AGEP variable. Double check that the AGEP variable is selected and then start your recode by clicking on the Create Custom Group button. First, change the group label from Not Elsewhere Grouped to Under 18 Years Old. 
Then click on a pencil icon to edit the end range from 99 to 17. Save that change. And then lock in in the group by clicking on a Save Group button on the right side of the screen. The let over values will be in the Not Elsewhere grouped category. Let's edit this group until all values are recorded. The next group will be the 18 to 24 year old age group. So click on a pencil icon X to the Not Elsewhere grouped label. Edit a group label to 18 to 24. Change the end range from 99 to 24. And then save the new group. Repeat this process for the 25 to 40 age group and a 41 to 55 age group. For our final group, change the group label to 56 years old and older. Since we want the rest of the ages included in the original variable, click on the Save Group button without editing the end range. We've now created the recorded variable name AGEP underscore RC1. Now that you created the recode, you can go to the Table tab. This new design streamlines the table view so you can edit your table laid out. Geographies, cell value option, and waiting all on one page. You can also change the vintage or year of data used on this page. All of these options have been consolidated on the left side of the screen, leaving more room for the table. Let's say, for example, you want to arrange this table in a more readable format. From the left side, you can move the selected geographies into the columns, and then the AGAP recode and MAR variable into the rows. You'll also notice that data will now display automatically, rather than showing cell values with either question marks or zeros in them like in MDAT's previous beta iteration of the table preview. This is update allows you to bypass steps and get to your data more quickly. You'll likely notice other enhancements to make better use of the space available. For example, the universe and selected geography information that used to be found above the table now appear as a pop-up when you select the View Universe button. We hope this creates a cleaner look and helps prevent the table view from getting cluttered, especially if you have a lot of geography selected. You still have the option to download or share tables, although you no longer have to go to a separate tab to do so. Now you can just click on the Download Share button, located in the bottom right corner of the screen, to further keep things from getting cluttered. The Refresh MDAP provides a pop-up with tabs for download and share separately. The download options are the same as the beta iteration of MDAP, with CSV and JSON formats available. If you want to share this table, click on the Share tab. This provides the same share options as before, with both the table and API URLs available. I hope this tutorial helps show you the new changes made to our Refresh Microdata Access tool. For additional guidance on using MDAT, please visit our resources page at the link provided below. Thank you.